Metta meditation softens the heart and turns the mind towards care, goodwill and acceptance. A person becomes more selfless and more peaceful when interacting with others. But the time spent on the meditation cushion is little when compared with the time we spend engaged in other activities. Can Bhante give some examples how a person can practice metta in daily life, taking the metta practice beyond the meditation cushion? Very interesting as well. A lot of people's meditation is on the cushion. I think real meditation often comes off the cushion. Mm. Uh, it does not, uh, uh, you know, underestimate uh, meditation retreat where I've been also doing retreats a, a lot. Uh, what I say is that uh, uh, we go to a retreat or maybe you sit down even in your house for five to ten minutes every day uh, just to uh, lay out your map of uh, your framework of meditation. But the real metta practice works. Uh, in your daily life, uh, then 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 it is not even a meditation at that point. It's an attitude. So I, I use a couple of Pali words for that. The Buddha said in the Singhalova, the Sutta, when we work with others, we have to work with metta. How to work with metta? Metta ya kaya kam mean act with metta. Let's say you act, you do your work, you do your other chores with metta. That means without having any uh, animosity admitting. Then metta vachi come in. Speak with metta. Mm -hmm. When you talk to someone, when you ask something, always have metta and talk to them. A lot of people they talk with uh, different feelings. When they talk to a difficult one, uh, this difficult one uh, has done something wrong to me. Uh, talk with metta. They may have some issues, but when you talk, talk with metta. Then Mettaya Manu come in. Think with metta. Mm. Think. Even when you are gathering your thoughts, gather your thoughts and then think your thought. Reflect with metta. So the Buddha said then this is not just a sitting meditation. Metta is a four posture meditation. Four posture. Sitting, standing, uh, lying down and walking. Okay. Tittam chara nisinnova sayanova yavatasa. Tittam means uh, whether you Tittang uh, stand, charang wo, uh, then nisinno means uh, sit, sayano means when you lie down as long as you are awake. Yavatasa vigata mitu, etang satinga diteya, this mindfulness satinga, which is the highest uh, form of attitude. I call it an attitude. Metta becomes an attitude when we bring it to our daily life. So it is a meditation uh, in the first place, but in the real practice, it has to be an attitude. So that our attitude in terms of talking, acting, thinking should uh, include metta. Actually not should include uh, in the second place. First place we may include, second place metta should naturally come with our action, naturally come with our uh, words, naturally come with our thoughts. That is how it's going to be uh, 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 and off the cushion meditation. Uh, you, I, I advise time to time you take time to go for a retreat. But the real metta is a 24-7 365 practice. It will be an attitude in your life. You properly do it. So we cannot limit it to a uh, on the cushion meditation that we do. Most people do that. They do uh, some hours of meditation. Uh, some people do it as a mantra. It's an attitude. That means when we develop it as an attitude, it will be the natural state of our urge and thinking. Naturally, we talk, think, and act with it. So, we like to thank uh, Bhante for clarifying some issues about metta. And uh, we hope that you will take up the metta meditation practice and enhance your life. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vitasri V, for the, all this. And uh, we really enjoy the questions. <laughs> we hope that uh, uh, our audience will learn some more about the metta meditation and metta as an attitude at the end. Yes. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank Anmodha. you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs>